Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you the Content Aware Move feature in Photoshop. We're going to get this in our third folder. It's called CA Move. And uh, I'm going to open this up in Photoshop. So basically, I have this uh, quick little handy shot of a uh, bunch of ducks down at the river. And what I want to do is move this little one closer to its mama. I mean, maybe that's a mama. I don't know much about ducks. Anyway. So the content aware move is the uh, seventh tool down here, and sometimes it looks like a spot healing brush, and you can just find it down there with the content aware move. And the way it works is you select an area and then move it. Yeah, pretty much that simple. So if you make a selection with something else, you can. However, it's just as easy to use the tool directly. I'm just going to click down and hold around and drag a little lasso around my shape. Now I'm leaving some space because I want Photoshop to do a good job of blending it in with its surroundings. If you're too tight with your selection, or if the selection takes up too much of your screen, you can have problems. It helps to have something where you're not moving it off into something else. For example, if I moved him up here, he'd be probably all messed up. But moving him over here closer to its mama, not a big deal. Let go, and Photoshop automatically starts working. So it's recreated the area here and moved him over there. Let's deselect and you can see how it did. Not bad at all. Now the reason why this works is because this is a relatively simple pattern. If you try and move something uh, across something that's more uh, complex and recognizable, it's not going to do a good job. Okay, it, it, Things like um, grass or weeds or, or, or um, in this case a rock, these things work great for it because moving something that's completely enclosed in it and you're um, having a relatively uh, readable pattern so even if it made this line one other way it's you know it's chaotic enough that it still looks like rock all right so let's just try and move this duck and see what happens when we move that one move it right here So it recreated that. I think it did a pretty good job. Let's see how it did when I hide my. Uh, yeah, I'm so it's a little confused out here. Um, a little confused here. It's not exactly what it is. So when you start to get recognizable shapes, it becomes um, more likely that you're going to just want to do it yourself. Anyway, I'm going to undo that and leave them like that. 